first tonight, a major new investigation has been announced into claims that children in care were sexually abused by the former Leicester MP, Lord Janna. It'll be part of the National Independent Inquiry into Historical Child Abuse. And it'll look at whether children were failed by institutions and whether people in power abused their authority. Lord Janna and his family have strenuously denied the abuse allegations. Well, in a separate development, five people who claim they were victims have challenged the decision not to prosecute him. Our social affairs correspondent Jeremy Ball reports. A powerful politician at the centre of a legal storm, a peer who would have been charged with more than 20 historical child sex offences. The country's chief prosecutor said it was too late to put Lord Janner on trial because his dementia has become so severe. But now the head of a national child abuse inquiry, Justice Goddard, has announced a wide-ranging investigation. It'll look at the conduct of institutions, including the Home Office, the Police and the Crown Prosecution Service, whether they did enough to protect children against sexual abuse and bring perpetrators to justice. It'll consider publishing findings of fact if evidence is found against Lord Janner. It'll look at whether improper attempts were made by high-profile figures to influence decisions about the case. And it'll review previous police inquiries and decisions by prosecutors over almost 25 years. It was frightening, confusing. It hurt. I'm now unable to form relationships. This man's one of around 30 people who told Leicestershire Police that they were sexually abused by Lord Janner's children. He was appalled by the decision not to prosecute the peer, and now lawyers acting for other alleged victims have asked the Crown Prosecution Service to think again. What the victims want is their day in court soon, and the best way of doing that is for the existing uh, decision to be reviewed, as we want, and for the case to proceed against Lord Janner. What they're saying is, we gave our evidence a long time ago. We thought he was going to be prosecuted then. He wasn't. We've waited all this time, and now we're told it's too late. When the allegations against Lord Janner first surfaced publicly, he vehemently denied them. Now too frail to defend himself, his family's insisting he's innocent. But questions about whether he committed serious crimes against children aren't going away. Well, Jeremy is with us now. So, Jeremy, why is this new investigation by Justice Goddard being held? Well, and because there's been so much outrage over that decision not to prosecute Lord Janner, despite the weight of evidence. Justice Goddard says she's going to lead this inquiry personally because it's been so prominent and so controversial. While she doesn't want to prejudge the outcome, she, needs, she says there needs to be an exhaustive, critical and independent investigation. And what do you think it's going to achieve? Well, Justice Goddard's going to hear evidence from uh, witnesses or victims who want to speak to her inquiry. She's going to look again at that medical evidence relating to Lord Janner. And she could record findings of fact. Now, those findings could infer that someone committed a crime. What they're not going to do, though, is lead to a prosecution. That's a, a separate issue that's been considered by a retired High Court judge. Mm. And has there been any reactions so far from any of the institutions being investigated? Yeah, we've heard this evening from Leicestershire County Council, who welcome the new investigation. They say they're working closely with Leicestershire Police. Uh, and they also say they welcome the chance for witnesses to give statements. We've also heard from Leicester City Council and from the police themselves who both told us they'll cooperate fully with the Goddard inquiry. The big question tonight, what we don't know, is how long is it all going to take? Mm. Thanks, Thank you, Jeremy. Jeremy.